what is going on everyone welcome to newcom's youtube channel we have a really exciting video for you today uh, we just unboxed the jva04 by j5 creates this uh, gaming capture card and uh, now we are getting on with the review so uh, a gaming capture card is uh, because this might be uh, the first gaming capture card that you're looking at uh, as a beginner streamer for example because uh, this capture card sits at the perfect middle ground in terms of price point and capability it's not super high and it's not super expensive it doesn't have 4k recording i will get to this in a second and it's not super low end so it has like lag when you're also getting a uh, a monitor pass through uh, it's it's the perfect middle ground and it's priced accordingly in a really nice uh, metal shell. So uh, the purpose, yeah, it's for capturing your gaming stream uh, on your computer. Let's say you are using a PlayStation uh, to uh, to stream your games. How do you stream your games on a PlayStation? Because, well, yes, there are some options on the PlayStation itself for streaming, but it doesn't give you a whole lot of control so a lot of people just prefer to stream through their PC but the only way you do that with a console is you have to have a gaming capture card so that it uh, essentially decodes the stream that is coming from the HDMI out of your console and turns it into a digital uh, a, a digital uh, footage that is in real time and your device through OBS through J5's own uh, capturing software or whatever else you can use to stream in real time right with minimal lag so this is the purpose of a uh, of a gaming capture card now with that out of the way let's talk about the connections and the capabilities of this particular JVA04 first of all let me address the elephant in the room the 4k UHD you see here this is uh, not capable of recording 4k all right it is capable of 4k pass-through so if you have a PS5, for example, and you're playing at 4K, you can get a 4K stream out of it through the uh, HDMI out. So the HDMI in is connected to the PS5 and to the game to the game capture device, and the HDMI out can be connected to a monitor or whatever that is 4K capable. You will get 4K 60 FPS uh, on your monitor, but the recording that is uh, passed out through this USB-C port to your computer is still going to be 1080p. But let's be real, very, very, very few people are streaming in 4K. So I wouldn't really count this as a negative at all for this particular product. But let's, yeah, uh, we just had to get that out of the way. Now let's talk about the connection. So uh, the, the main stuff is uh, the USB-C, the HDMI in, and the HDMI out because uh, not every not every gaming capture card has an HDMI uh, out although most of the good ones have the really low end ones don't have an HDMI out uh, so the HDMI in is for getting the footage from your gaming console the HDMI out as I said is to get real time pass through with no lag and the USB C is to turn the footage from your gaming console into uh, a footage that the computer can read in real time and also use it for streaming again like maybe on OBS for example and you also get a bunch of cables in the box so let's first get this audio jack out of the way uh, you have a couple of audio ins and audio outs this is the audio in from your gaming controller or it could be just the microphone all right uh, the PS uh, the PS4 controller the PS5 controller for example they have uh, this microphone here that you can use as a as an as an audio input and the audio out well of course is i mean to get uh, audio from your headsets a speaker set or whatever else you want to get the audio out from so that's the audio cable not very interesting but it's definitely an appreciate uh, an appreciated addition to this gaming capture card uh then we have uh the the main cable the usb c to usb type a cable you will connect the USB-C on this end and then you will connect the USB-A to your computer uh, to get the footage that is decoded through this uh, the JVA04 and uh, with with the USB cable out of the way we get to the to the HDMI cable uh, now they only included one HDMI cable because that's the bare minimum that you need uh, so you connect this to the HDMI in and uh, the other end 
to your gaming console and uh, you would get the footage from your computer, for example. You don't really need to connect any other HDMI cable. You don't need to do that, but uh, for zero, zero lag, it is best if you do that. Uh, the footage that you see on the computer has a couple of milliseconds of lag. Uh, of course, we'll test it out to see uh, if there is any lag. So now that we've got the technicalities out of the way, let's go ahead and set this up, and talk about the software, talk about the, the stuff that you can do with it in just a second. Well, guys, there is one thing you need to do in order to be able to fully use the, uh, the JVA-04, and that is on your console, you need to go and disable HDCP. So uh, the if you don't do this, and the first time you run the J5 Create Capture software, you will be met with an error message that goes, uh, copyrighted content found, and you can't actually use the preview feature uh, on the software. So you will have to disable HDCP to be able to uh, take advantage of the content uh, that you get on your console, all right? And now uh, I want you guys to take a look at the lag or lack thereof. So you can see virtually no lag. Maybe there's like one millisecond of it. Maybe not even that. I don't know. I can't tell. So uh, let's uh, fire up some games and, uh, and enjoy ourselves. So uh, I started to capture the footage and again in the gameplay I want you guys to see that there is no lag whatsoever. I was wrong. And now we get to the closing comments. So uh, first of all if you see right here, uh, this uh, light, when it turns blue, it means that you are actually capturing uh, footage from your gaming console. And when it's purple, it's like it's, it's, it's ready. All right. And when it is uh, orange, that means you have connected it to a port that you probably shouldn't be connecting it to because that is the very, very low speed version of it. You will experience lag. You will experience... Uh, well, irregularities in the capturing of the footage, so, 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 so don't. Make sure that it's purple before it turns blue, all right? Uh, and uh, as you probably heard uh, as I was speaking uh, over the game, the audio was coming from my computer. And because there is virtually no lag, you really don't need to use this audio output, all right? Uh, but for whatever reason, if you choose to, it is there. And with that, we have come to the end of uh, this video review of the J5 Create JVA04, a fantastic value for money for beginner streamers that they don't want a whole lot of extra features to work with. They just want nice, lag-free 1080p footage captured from their, uh, from their gaming console while they can uh, preview it on their, maybe on their bigger screen or whatever. Uh, so you have the extra HDMI out as well, and you've got a really reliable connection when you're seeing this, this blue light light up. So thank you guys for staying tuned. I'll see you in the next video.